Yes, and welcome back to the 94 Club for your daily dose of country music. Hey, look, this week it looks like we're about to hit a thousand subscribers, and I'm super excited about that. Uh, I am going to drop a video when I do hit a thousand subscribers just so I can introduce myself properly uh, and tell you what the future of the 94 Club has in store. Anyway, this week we're featuring Sturgill Simpson, Tyler Childers, Cody Johnson, Colter Wall, Upchurch, Matt Heckler, and Nikki Lane on the channel. So there's a few new artists, a few that I've already done. Um, yeah, just excited to get into this week's music. So let's see who we've got today. Right, so now we've started uh, Colter Wall Wednesdays. It feels like we're going to have Tyler Childers and Colter Wall back to back for quite a while uh, until we until we get onto the track that they've done together. I don't know whether to put that in a Tyler Tuesday or a Colter Wall Wednesday, but we will see. Anyway, this week we are going with Sleeping on the Blacktop. I have no idea what it means. Um, I don't know if Blacktop is like the the, the sidewalk or the you call it sidewalk i call it pavement um the side of the road is that is that what he's talking about i don't know um i think black tops like tarmac but we'll find out hopefully the song will tell me um anyway what we're going to do is going to get straight into it it's a four minute song i'm not going to try and pause it too much let's go Sunshine beating on the good times Moonlight raising from the grey String band playing worn out honky tonk Pretty young thing going dancing in the rain High heel lady spitting at the nick of jacks Business man with a needle and a spoon Coyote chewing on a cigarette Pack of young boys going howling at the moon Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Lesson my sense catches up with me He's talented, very, very talented Um song after song and very similar in a way on my feelings towards Tyler Childers that I don't think he's made a bad song um so far from what I've listened to anyway um yeah that businessman with a needle and a spoon a coyote chewing on a cigarette pack of young boys going howling at the moon like they're powerful images um and it paints a picture of the environment um which I think is really nice, and I, I, I'm kind of interested to see where this song's going to go. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on and we'll we'll see where it does go. Three dead in the crash on the number four. Two witnesses blowing up high Not sure whose will be done And you could call me a sinner for wondering why Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Lesson my sense catches up with me Well, the corn looked 
taste sweeter in this town Could it be it's the same as the last? Swear I've seen your face elsewhere before Just as familiar as a bottle and a glass Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Listen, my sense catches up with me Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Listen, my sense catches up with me And my sense catches up with me Right, so here's the thing about Cult of Wall and modern country music um, There is a lot of people saying that modern country music is not good And this is evident that it is and that it is still alive and it is still real. Um, and this is fantastic. His voice is, 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 is so real. Like, you know, I have gone back, I guess, three, four years from my last video that I've just watched, which was Cowpoke. So his, his voice had matured quite a bit in that. Um, so we're going back to where it's still quite gritty. And I do like this culture wall as well. I do like this grittiness that he's got in there. Um, but his ability to write a song, which is quite um, quite old school, you know, it's not like the modern stuff you hear he's using. For me, it's not terminology and stuff I can necessarily relate to because over here in the UK, it's not language that we use and it's not language I've been around. So there's things that I still need to catch up on when listening to some of this more traditional country style music um, and, and this way of writing. Um, but what I get from this, I suppose, um, you know, if we go top down, um, is there is a struggle. Um, and in essence, there is a struggle in people that on the surface look quite put together when they're actually not. So, um, yeah, you've got the high heel lady spitting the businessman with the needle in the spoon, which I touched on earlier. Like these are people that look like they're well put together on the surface, but actually you know, they are, there is a level of struggle under there as well. Um, <clears throat> he paints a nice picture in that combination, in that, sorry, that, that flip between sunshine and moonlight in the very first verse. I know I'm sort of jumping about here. Um, some beating on the good times, moonlight raising from the grave, uh, string band playing worn out honky tonks, pretty young thing going dancing on a going dancing in the rain. Um, <clears throat> paints a nice picture. When we really get into the struggle then, so three dead in a crash on the number four, um, two witnesses below and high up, you've got that You've got that number, so three, four, two, um, not sure whose who's will be done, um, you can call me a sinner for wondering why, uh, it's just, yeah, questioning, questioning how and why that even happened, um, so... And the, and the chorus of this, so that, hey darling, sleeping on the blacktop, hey darling, running through the trees, honey, hey darling, leaving for the next town. Um, what it says to me is like, there is this, paints a picture of this person that is, like I say, on the surface, put together well, but underneath it all, he's actually really struggling and they're trying to escape in any way that they can. Um, if someone lets me know what sleeping on the blacktop actually refers to, I think it's like sleeping rough on the sidewalk kind of thing. Um, but yeah, please let me know, but it sounds like to me, someone trying to run away from the struggle that they're facing and seeing if they can outrun it at all. I'm not sure you can. Um, but yeah, just a, a really, really powerful song. Uh, and he's just a, a top performer, like that combination of playing the strings with that kick drum below him just to set that set that punch in there as well. I think he's so powerful. Um, 
Yeah, and that, sorry, that line that I've not touched on yet, so where he says, I swear I've seen your face elsewhere before, just as familiar as a bottle and a glass, is like, you know, there is that element of struggle, and I guess for me, when you see that face and that familiar face and you refer it to the bottle and the glass, maybe that familiar face is, I don't want to read too much into this, but I, I'm going to, um, I think that, that that face that he's talking about there is probably depression uh, and any sort of mental health problem. So when he says, I've seen your face elsewhere before, just as familiar as the bottle and the glass, he might be saying that, um, you know, every time he struggles, he resorts to the bottle and the glass and his face is a reminder of the pain that he causes himself or herself. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I think that comes from. But in essence, a real powerful song. I do need to get a bit more to grips with the traditional way of, of speaking like this. So, you know, any education on my part would be great. Uh, just put it in the comments. Let me know what you think of the song, what you think it was touching on. And, and yeah, just let me know. But anyway, for now, as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, please. Hit that notification bell and you will stay up to date with all the latest videos that I put up on this channel. But for now, that's me. Thank you. Peace.